Hello everyone, and welcome to another installment of Aaron's Book Club. I am exhausted, just did my nether first, or my first day back at work after two weeks off with medical issues, so you get to deal with all of this while I talk about a book that I got done in surprisingly a quick amount of time because I didn't realize it was basically like a coffee table book. I have the um, dust cover for it, but it's in pretty poor shape, so we're just going to look at the book naked today. But oh well. <laughs> the book that I have to review today is The White Stallions of Vienna by Podhosky. I, I can't pronounce words, so we're going to excuse me, go with that. And even though it's naked, it, it has a nice uh, little horse in the beginning of it. And it's kind of like a classical book. I'm really enjoying um, the way it's laid out. It is basically, like I picked it up as um, a book that I would read between my other books to kind of refresh my palette. Um, because I find if I go from one fiction um, book to another fiction book, it tends to tire me out. So this was going to be the book that I read in between, but I didn't realize that this book is basically full of beautiful photographs, like absolutely gorgeous photographs throughout the entire book. And the only writing that's there are descriptions of what the photographs are. Excuse me, I just dropped my bookmark. If you leave bookmarks around and you have cats, they disappear. So I rescued it, so it's okay. So the book actually took less than two hours to read because you just read through all the descriptions and, and go through the pictures, and that's basically all it is. But I actually learned a lot because they went through what each picture means and where where it is in, in the history of things. They had a really great, like here, they've got the written out uh, genealogy of the of the horses. And, like, as scary as this is, the bits that they used to use, they used to put these in horses' mouths. I think they still do put very similar ones in horses' mouths, which is scary. But it was very educational and a very quick read, and it's something that I enjoyed. And I actually might keep it on my coffee table upstairs here because it's something that I think I'm going to look through quite a lot. So, yeah, I guess that's all I've got to say, and I will let you know when I have another book read. Thanks, guys.